Dane Valley uh, Community Energy Group uh, have got together, a group of five of us have got together in the hope of building a hydro facility, mini hydro facility, uh, the Havana Weir. I think the Havana Weir was probably used in the 1700s uh, initially to power a mill and then it was original and then after that it was used to uh, provide electricity to Havana Village and actually Havana Village had electrical power long before Congleton. So we're kind of using existing infrastructure. Oh, so my name's Andrew Peters uh, from Siemens and Siemens are delighted to be supporting in this great project. Uh, there are three real main reasons why Siemens are really interested in this project. The first one is obviously the corporate social responsibility and the sustainability aspect. Uh, we're hopefully going to be taking some of the energy from this uh, WEIR project. The second one is uh, very much on the educational side with the STEM subjects and getting kids more able to understand data analytics so we hope very much that this project can allow us to capture data not only about the performance of the weir itself but maybe some of the weather data and then start to look at some of the analytics in terms of forecasting and then last but not least we uh, we very much hope that we can bring some of our customers who come to Siemens Congleton and show them the great application which of course is full of uh, Siemens technology so three great reasons. Um, so basically I'm currently doing an internship at Siemens in Congleton and I'm currently still studying in Germany related to renewable energies as well and um, so it's kind of my interest really and I've never been in touch with a actual project so it's very interesting for me to hear real facts you know numbers or what's involved in the project what, do, what steps do you need to do and I think for me it's really good that you do that also for the students here because I think it's really cool if they get the chance to be involved, to be in touch with renewable energies from the, scra from the start when they're young. So I think it's a really good project. Havana Weir, there's a f over four metres of drop. It's a vertical weir, it's a big old drop. Most weirs in the UK do not have that size of drop. Most of them are one, two, maybe three metres if you're lucky. So you're very lucky to have one with four metres of drop. The Victorians who built the previous mill at Havana clearly had ambitions to make it a s substantial energy producer and that's why you've got four meters. It's, it's, it's not unique but it's rare and I think you should take advantage of that. It's the second fastest rising river in the UK which means uh, when it rains it really comes up and the turbine will be sitting there ready and waiting for when it, when it rains the power will come on and generate uh, lots of power. And at, at Cheshire West in, in Chester, we've got an old Roman weir with the Salmon River, um, a Grade Two listed building, and wanting to do something with that. And in, like with Havana Weir, that was used for generating electricity for Chester Electricity Company. So that's been um, derelict for a while. So we'd like to sort of model our weir and hydroelectricity scheme on this as well. So we'll watch uh, Dane Valley's process very closely to sort of share the expertise back in Chester. I've been designing hydroelectric schemes for about 15 years. I think I know a good scheme when I see one and at Havana Weir I think there is an excellent credentials for a really good scheme. It's got a good amount of water, it's got a good amount of drop, as the, the land is available, it's accessible, the grid for putting the electricity in is there, it's got great local support including Siemens up the road. So I, I think it's a great scheme to build and I'd love to be involved designing it and making it the best possible scheme it can be to deliver really good amount of energy uh, into the local network and reduce the CO2 emissions of the local area.